What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video, another day, another dollar with your boy. We're going to be breaking down our futures contract per usual. We're going to go over some technical analysis, uh, looking at our weekly, daily, and then our 30 minute time frames. Just kind of uh, going to update some destinations. It's been a little bit since I've posted, um, but that's just kind of been the flow here recently. It's just kind of posting whenever I feel like. Not a whole lot's changed. We're kind of just cha trading within a similar range that we've been trading in for the last several weeks. As you can see right here, looking at our weekly ch chart, we are in a nice one, two, three, four week balance. And what did we do today so far? Well, yesterday and today uh, were rather uneventful to say the least, um, as we've tested our balance low. All right, so we are in a balance, meaning we're chopping within this channel between 53.22.75 and 51.94.25 okay so when we're chopping in between something like this whenever we have a balance area or an area of you know of consolidation a channel however you look at it there are three rules that you need to keep in mind those three rules being balance rules okay so you have three of them one being getting near a balance low or high right not breaking through it so testing it and then if you can't get through it, you'll reverse and rotate the other direction and test the other side of the range. Uh, same on the upside, right? If we get up here to 53.22.75, we test it, can't break through it, we'll most likely rotate and test the other side of the range. So far, that's what it's looking like right now. As we approached uh, the lows here today um, and just could not get to that weekly low or the weekly balance low of 51.94.25. Uh, if we do take that out, then the weekly will go one time framing down, meaning we are setting lower highs. Excuse me. Can't breathe. Uh, we are setting lower highs and lower lows, um, meaning the trend is slowly starting to fade uh, to the upside. We've been one time framing up for several weeks. I've said in the last video I posted that it's not unhealthy for us to get a nice 5% correction to the downside uh, to maybe find some stronger and more uh and more buyers on the way down, which would not be unhealthy, right? You want to have those longer uh, time frame uh, traders, those bigger traders in the market, and they don't want to buy up here when we are near all time highs, right? They want to buy at a bargain. Smart traders, smart money, they want to buy at a bargain. And uh, maybe you've accumulated a little bit here uh, if you're on the swing trade side against that 5194, uh, keeping your top very uh, your stop very tight. As you do have a nice risk reward long, right? You get low or long around 200s. You got a nice uh, 100 point range to the upside uh, to, you know, kind of capitalize on. So from there to there, I mean, really, really good range. You get long 5220, you're out 5320, right? In a very nice balance. That's usually how that things work. Uh, when it comes to balance rule number two, Balance rule number two means we get near the balance low or high and slightly stretch it. So that would mean we get near uh, 51.94.25 and take it out by maybe a point. Say we get to 51.93.25 uh, and then we come back into the range. That would show a lack of conviction, a lack of sellers, and uh, we would most likely go and test the other side of the, side of the range. Same thing on the upside. We stretch to 53.23.75. Uh, we come back into the range, fail, most likely going to rotate and test the other side. So that is rule number two. And then rule number three is getting to the balance high, through the balance high, or and away from that balance high, having some type of extension, uh, usually having some type of trend day uh, on our 30-minute time frame, using having uh, single prints, things of that nature. Same on the downside, right? It means we get to, the, to it, through it, and away from it, right? You want to get to that. Uh, low through that low and away from that low good extension good volume and really start to get some uh, leeway to the downside now let's look at our daily since we are in a balance in our weekly uh, it's very similar to what our daily balance looks like um, you can use one of two balances uh, neither or incorrect both have the same balance low right now we are looking at what is our weekly balance and what could potentially be a multi-day balance you could use the all-time high and then that weekly low 51.94.25 uh, which would result in um you know if we took out that low the daily and the weekly would both be down 
If we took out the high, the daily and the weekly would both be up. For me, on the other hand, I've tightened it up just a hair uh, for my daily balance to 5308.50. I think that high right there is very, very important uh, in my opinion. So the daily is going to have to start one time framing up first, get above that all time high 5322.75. Have meaning we have some type of trend day, some type of extension to the upside. Uh, first, proving on the smaller time frame, the daily, right? Proving that buyers are serious, buyers want to get moving to the upside uh, before we get the weekly to the, moving to the upside again. Same thing on the downside, right? Uh, because we're basically just using uh, the fourths range as the balance, right? We've tightened it up a little bit. If we take out that low, we will, you know, pretty much one time framing down on the daily we'll target the 50 day moving average which is down here at 51 uh we will target that area there we uh we've been battling back and forth between the 20 day moving average but if we get through that balance low which we failed to do today uh we have three lows that are very very close to each other and we'll see that on our 30 minute time frame but we failed to really um uh, even though the sellers had a lot in their favor today kind of just dried up and rallied to the upside just lack of uh really any conviction lack of real sellers um volume decent uh but so far holding within this balance uh you can even tighten it up even more so if you'd like uh using today's high um and then this low right here from the fifth you lose uh using friday's low from the fifth uh you could tighten it up to that point um, and then say once we took take out today's high one time framing up and then you would have two targets on the upside 5308 and then 5322 as destinations on the upside. Um, but for me, this is my balance area. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, I will be looking uh, to see if maybe at some point in time we can find acceptance back into the upper distribution from that trend day on Thursday. We'll look at that on the 30 minute time frame here in just a second. If we cannot and we fell here, we have these highs here that are all very close. If we fell here above 5270, basically, we'll most likely roll over, right? And then we have three daily lows that are close to each other. Uh, which could be used as stopping points, right? For those that are swing long, uh, they may be getting stopped out at that point, adding liquidation and liquidity to uh, the downside, which could get us to 51.94. Me personally, I would like to see a pullback to the 50-day moving average. I think that would be provide a great, great buying opportunity for this market. Uh, and like I said, is a, about a 5% pullback from the highs, about 36 actually. Um, so would not be a terrible pullback, right? For the market, it would be a healthy pullback. Now let's look at our 30 minute time frame. Look at that, and then get you guys out of here. Um, let me get rid of all these lines real quick and just kind of show the balance area or the range that you're trading in. You're essentially trading in this range here on the weekly. This is what your 30 minute time frame looks like on the weekly, right? This is what you are doing. You're just chopping around inside of this relatively large range between 53.22 and 51.94. So just chopping in and then you obviously have the tighter range that you're chopping in between, right? You have these, this tighter area that you're consolidating in right once you break out of this you should start to get some more movement to the upside now what i was meaning when i was talking about getting acceptance into the upper distribution where we went trend down this area right here we need to find acceptance of price within this range here right if we can find acceptance of price up here then the likelihood of us getting the all-time high improves tremendously if we do not find acceptance of price up here and reject out of that 5290 area will most likely rotate over and go test the other end of this range okay so that would be a great great selling opportunity for short sellers right as you are near a all-time high 
you are in that upper distribution. So selling, we could potentially look for responsive sellers there. And so far, we have not wanted to fill, um, really get any push up to that area. If you look closely here, you can see how we liquidated on that day. Look at where we've been pack packing in all the volume. Been packing in volume in between those sets of single prints for the last several days. We had a double inside day. Uh, attempted to come out of that double inside day today with uh, to the upside, failed miserably, and then rotated over. It looks like we just took out those two daily highs here, uh, which were 52.6850, 52.7250, and then rolled over. Um, went trend down, meaning we had single prints to the downside, right? We had uh, just kind of like here, but on the smaller scale, we had single prints to the downside. Um which were something to lean against initially, right? We could sell against this on pushes up, which turned out to be uh, provide a couple of really good opportunities to get short in these time frames throughout here, right? Uh, anytime we pushed up around that 5240 level was a great opportunity to get short. Um, you know, you might have been risking uh to the single print fill if that's something you were looking for 52 54 but i think you know these two time frames specifically that i'm circling all right uh were excellent opportunities to get short um and then even shorting here around 52 42s 52 43 52 44 was a good opportunity because at the time you weren't really expecting what happened late in the day to happen right this massive push up you're you're you got to follow the market generated information and what the market generated information was telling you is that we had a trend day down and that if this market acts normal you will most likely roll back over and test the lows at some point if you're going to hold a double distribution day typically with a double distribution day that's what you see you'll see your upper distribution a set of single prints you'll push up Get a little bit of an afternoon rally high scenario, potentially even into the set of single prints, uh, and then eventually roll back over, testing the lows, and then maybe get a rally back up near that afternoon rally high. Well, we really didn't get much of a pullback, um, and then whenever we did, it was a very, very, very strong buy off that 52.23 level, and it just rocketed up, filling that set of single prints, and kind of just uh, leaving us with not a whole lot on the day. Uh, failed at an outside day up, failed out, or excuse me, inside day up, failed at an inside day down. Um, and we just pretty much closed right where we've been for the last two days. Uh, once again, just packing in volume where we had this heavy liquidation to the downside. Um, now let me pull up these destinations real quick. So here's our destinations, right? We have today's high 5274.25. We have a nine white point of control 5235.25. Uh, I did not mark today's low, so let's go ahead and mark that. I don't know how I forgot to do that. Uh, 5208.25 is going to be today's low. All right, so we have today's low day here. We have the previous, or uh, we have Friday's low right here at 5206.75. And then we have the weekly low uh, and then the low from the fourth at 5194.25. So within about a 10 point range, 10, 11 point range, we have three daily lows that are really close to each other. Now, will if we push through those, that should provide some pretty good opportunity to come down to this 11 wide point of control at 5182.25. At 5181 and then get the low of day down here at 5167. 75 51 57 and then slowly push our way towards that 50 day moving average which should be hovering right around this 50 uh 51 24 25 level um on the upside we have today's high 52 74 like i said if we do not really get any acceptance above uh 52 70s we should come back down and test there right or at least trade around that 52.35 nine wide point of control on the downside. However, if we do push up initially, I would not want to react or do anything until we see how we um, react to this 52.92.75 area, 
or the single prints fill, right? And then we start to get into that upper distribution. That is the beginning of the upper distribution. Uh, and then that ends at 5308.50, the high of day. So hopefully that makes sense. If you do get those areas, you will target the next couple upside destinations. Um, but this is pretty much what we've been doing. We've just been chopping around for the last several days. Very difficult, very, very difficult price action. Um, I did well today. As far as my trading goes, I did well. I uh, shorted on the pushes up. It came in. I took it off. I didn't stay married to anything. Um, I'm, I'm getting better um, or I'm going to do better about uh, moving my stop into take profit immediately. Like I don't even care if it pushes up a little bit. I'm done getting stopped out for losses. So even if I make like, you know, a point on the trade, I'm going to take a point. I'm not t taking any more losses unless it is a part of the plan. If I get in at a price and it pushes down, I'm immediately putting myself in profit by pulling my stopping point down. Um, so I did that twice today, made good money, got in again on the push up uh, to fill the set of single prints here, uh, made good money on the pullback and I got out. So overall, very good trading for me today. I'm very happy to see that. I wish I would have been a little bit more present for these time frames. I think I definitely would have uh, gotten involved at that 52.42 level uh, using 52.44 as my out, rotating down, you know, getting 52.32, um, you know, 10, 10 point range, you know, maybe scalping out two to three points in that range would have paid out well because um, I, once again, definitely would not have... Uh, been staying married to these trades i would have been putting myself into profit immediately uh by moving my stop down and that's what i'm going to do moving forward um is move that stop immediately into profit some people may not like that but for me uh that's going to help me build my confidence build my account back up and get to where i want to be um in the long run so with that being said ladies and gentlemen i hope you all have a wonderful day hopefully um this mess makes sense um if not you know it is what it is uh good luck <laughs> as this this is a very difficult market to read even the you know ones that have been in it for a long time have been struggling uh speaking of long ones or people that have been in it a long time go check out paul asmar at camelbacktrading.org or on youtube paul asmar he is a great mentor great trading guide uh would not be here without him so huge shout out to him and we'll catch you guys in the next one see ya